Hey guys, welcome back today to another video. Hope you're all enjoying your day. Um, I decided to start this like vlogging style video a little later this evening. It's five to seven or five to five, should I say? And uh, yeah, there's some Premier League football on tonight. Two games to be precise. Um, Brighton and Hove Albion and Burnley are playing at half five, so I can see what the scores and that are, or the the lineups and that. And then I will also like give my prediction on Southampton Newcastle later on as well. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Let's just see. Here we are. Brighton. Mm. Brighton have played very well this season. Let's just put it that way. Um, but they just have not got the results. Um, so yeah. Brighton and Burnley. Burnley have not performed very well this season. Burnley are one of the weakest teams in the league. I think they're in 20th. Let me check that. Yes, they're currently in 20th and Brighton are in 16th. Um, but Burnley have only played six games, but still six, six games, one point from it. Not great, not a great return. Um, so yeah. Matty Ryan is starting in goal. Lamptey is playing on right back. Webster and Veltman are playing <clears throat> centre backs. Right and left centre back. Then Dan Byrne. Then we have Pascal Grab, Ben White, Yevis Busama, Adam Lalana, Cam, and then Welbeck and Mowbray. Wait. Oh, yeah. I forgot Welbeck had signed for. Um, Brighton. I actually forgot about that, you guys. So I did. And then obviously Burnley. They're starting Nick Pope and goal. Matthew Loughton. James Targovsky. Ben Mee. Ch Charlie Taylor. Drug McNeil. Ashley Westwood. Josh Brownhill. Robbie Brady. Ashley Barnes. And Chris Wood. So Burnley are playing a 4-4-2. Brighton are playing a four three one two. Um personally I'd be going for a Brighton win here. I think that Brighton will stay up. They've shown glimpses of it. They were unlucky to get bit by United. Um and a couple of other teams. Like they shouldn't have got a draw last week, I think. I think it was a draw they got. Let's see. They've had too many losses. Like they've had one win, two draws, and four losses. Um. Yeah, I think Brighton will win this two one, two one, or three one. I think, or Burnley mightn't score at all, but. I think Burnley will find a goal out somewhere. They just always seem to find a goal somewhere. So yeah, I think that's how it's gonna gonna go. And like, come on, it is such a disgrace that like you can't, you have to pay to watch the games. And yeah, that's I think just it's just a disgrace that you have to pay fifteen to watch a game like it's just not good enough yeah that's all i have to say guys um i will update you in a bit of what i'm doing and yeah i'm gonna try and figure out a way now of watching the game so yeah talk to you in a bit all right guys it's currently half time in the brighton and burnley game um Let's look at the statistics. Brighton have had 58% possession. Oh yeah, by the way, I should say it's nil nil at half time. Brighton have had 12 shots, 2 on target. Uh, compared to Burnley's 2 shots, 1 on target. Uh, 2 corners. 2 big chances. They missed both of them, Brighton. Um... Yeah, it's not a very, 
It's a kind of very boring game now, guys. I'm not gonna lie about it at the moment. Like, it's just... I don't know what it is about this game. It's just... Uh, it's a bit off the pace. Like, it's just bright and dominating and they just can't score. Um... Yeah. Uh, I just hope the Southampton Newcastle game is gonna be better. But no, it's like, it's not horrible. Like, let's just put it that way, but... It's not great either. <laughs> we have four games tomorrow. Don't know if I'll watch all four. But. I'll see. Because. Chelsea Sheffield are playing at half five. But in the Bundesliga. We have. Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich. So I have to decide. Which one of them I'm going to watch. So. I'll definitely watch Everton United. And Crystal Palace. And Leeds. I'll definitely watch the two of them. And I'll probably watch West Ham Fulham tomorrow night. I'm just not sure if I'll watch the Chelsea game. Because I might watch the Bundesliga instead. Uh, there's no real game. Is there any good game in the league on? No. Yeah. I don't know guys. This game is just a load of um, FA Cup games tomorrow. So like, I can actually... Keep an eye on them. That's kind of like teams from the League 2 and that playing in League 1. and But yeah. This game is... This... Brighton Burnley game has been very, very boring. Um, a couple of good chances for Brighton. But like... Brighton dominate games. But they can't get enough out of it. Like, the momentum... They have compared to Brighton or compared to Burnley, sorry. Just uh, it's unbelievable. Let's just see. Yeah, guys, basically, that's all I had to say. Really, really boring game. I'm sorry, I don't really have much to say about it. And uh, yeah, guys. I'm gonna go the second half of the now in a couple of minutes, so I better go out and watch it. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. And I will talk to you when the game is over. <laughs> we'll see who ends up on it. So, yeah. Alright, guys, and the Burnley um, Brighton game is over. It didn't have nil nil in the end. It was very dull game, not gonna lie. Uh, Brighton had most of the momentum, to be fair. Statistics, 19 shots, 3 on target, no goals, 59% possession. How oh, unlucky can you get, like, Brighton are just not clinical and all. I know the Southampton Newcastle game is after starting, it's still nil nil, but I... So make a couple of minutes in, I think Southampton should win this game. Not sure what the result will be, but they should win this game. Um, let's just see who's starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty much playing their songs team, but Danny Ings is injured at the moment, but I still think they have enough in them. I'd say Che Adams. <gasps> He's just after scoring. Che Adams is after scoring a goal. For Southampton. Just as I was saying it. Yeah. Southampton are going to win this game comfortably, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, Yeah, so that's all I have to say. Currently 1-0 at halftime to Southampton. As I was just like talking, Southampton had scored. So yeah, they've had eight shots, three on target, um, sixty four percent possession. They have pretty much dominated this game. Um, not really much else to say about this game. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Um, but just the momentum from Southampton is pretty like with the bit of momentum that. Newcastle had, it was a loss of momentum, but overall Southampton have had more momentum. Um, 
Che Adams scored the goal and assisted by Theo Walcott, the former Arsenal guy, you know. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. So yeah, I guess I will talk to you at full time. Let's see if there's anything else going on in Europe or anything. What I think of it. Um, so Harrogate Town are beating Skirmanise Skelly Mercedale United 2-0 in the FA Cup. Um, that's all I can see there that's pretty important like, or I would even know about. So, yeah. Guys, um, that's pretty much it. I will talk to you guys when this game is over or if something like absolutely unbelievable happens. But I doubt it will. So yeah, I'll talk to you when this game is over. Alright guys, so the Southampton-Newcastle game is after ending. Um, it ended 2-0 to Southampton, so I got that bang on correct though. Um, let's look at the statistics. 61% possession, 15 shots, 8 on target. Um, they conceded, they didn't concede. It's a good game actually. Very one-sided though, I will admit, for a lot of it. Um, so Stuart Armstrong and Shea Adams scored the goals. So now Southampton are in first. But Liverpool have a game in hand, unless they're one point behind them. And also they have a game in hand, because obviously it's this weekend. So yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please smash a huge thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe. And yeah, guys, I will be back tomorrow with more Premier League content. So yeah, talk to you tomorrow.